We go to Mike Gooding. He spoke with the House Minority Leader as the Republican Party prepares to take control. We feel fairly confident that we are at 52 seats. Despite a few of the contests around the state still not having been officially called, House Minority Leader Todd Gilbert thinks it's a done deal. The Shenandoah delegate is already thinking ahead to January when he believes Republicans will be in charge of the chamber. And we're focused on things that we think were important to voters on Tuesday, uh, making life more affordable. Uh, making our schools better, making our streets safer. Gilbert said a Republican-led House will work to tighten up Democrat majority passed marijuana laws. They passed the legalization of marijuana, but they did so without any sort of regulatory framework around it. So we're going to have to fix all that, and we're going to have to work with the Democrat Senate to fix all that. Another Republican priority, he said, would be improving voting laws. We are certainly going to do smart things like try to uh, bring back common sense uh, in terms of voting rights, bring back common sense measures like voter ID. That's something that I think universally people think is a good idea, that you should be able to prove who you are before you're doing something as important as voting. As for his own ambitions, Gilbert does hope to become speaker, but acknowledges that at least one other Republican delegate, Terry Kilgore of Gates City, has announced he wants the job too. Yes, we, it looks like at the moment we have a, a speaker's race, and uh, I'm going to make my case to our caucus about why I'm uh, the best person to continue to lead our caucus forward. Mike Gooding, 13 News Now. Republican House members will decide upon their leadership positions when the caucus holds its closed-door meeting Sunday, November 14th.